technology. Let's start with that one. I really, this one caught my eye. Filmmaker plans iBorg eye socket camera. Now you look at this thing, and it literally looks like a, a little bit bigger, and it, it's going to hook right into his eye, a uh, contact lens. No wires, doesn't have to go anywhere. It, it transmits wirelessly. Now he's going to do documentary films from his perspective. Think about that. Now, this technology's here. It's, it's not science fiction. How long is it going to be before police officers, for instance, are going to be forced to be fitted with them? And then 24 hours of what they do will be recorded. So a police officer comes to your house, and they go into your house without a warrant, and they just catch something on the camera, and it's recorded, and then all of a sudden you're a suspect for something. Or let's take it a step further. What happens when they try to sound reasonable and say, you know what, uh, we want to give this person probation, but they're just such a high risk. We're going to put this. Cam we're going to make them wear this camera all day, and it's going to transmit what they do, and that will keep them in line. And it'll sound good at first because it'll be like, oh, we're going to use this for rapists or you know, poly pedophile down the road. I mean, <laughs> it's going to sound great, but now, I mean, not only that, but you're never going to know if you're being bugged or watched. There is no bug. This thing is a wireless transmitter that fits on your eyeball. On your eyeball. All right, so filmmaker plans iBorg eye socket camera. It's out of Brussels. This is a Reuters report. A Canadian filmmaker plans to have a mini camera installed in his prosthetic eye to make documentaries and raise awareness about surveillance in society. Rob Spence, 36, who lost an eye in an accident as a teenager, said his so called uh, project iBorg is to have a camera, a battery, and a wireless transmitter. Notice the wireless transmitter part. We're in a wireless world, man. It's, it's all out there. It's over the airwaves. Mounted on a tiny circuit board. Nanotechnology is here. It's been here for a while. And they can do incredible things. I mean, I mean, more than incredible things. It's absolutely unbelievable what they're able to do. Originally, the whole idea was to do a documentary about surveillance. I thought I would become just a uh, sort of a superhero fighting for justice against surveillance. So this guy is trying to uh, use the technology for good. Well, some people are going to be trying to use this for bad. In Toronto, there are 12,000 cameras, but the strange thing I discovered was that people don't care about the surveillance cameras. Yeah, because we're so dumbed down with fluoride. Um, they were more concerned about me and my secret camera eye because they feel that that's a worse invasion of their privacy. Well, in some respects, it absolutely is. Look at that little thing. Oh, PrisonPlanet.tv. If you're not on the PrisonPlanet.tv, get on the PrisonPlanet.tv. Yeah, it's fun on the radio. But with all the visuals and, you know, Paul Hartman and Jaron working so hard out there, you're, you're missing out. It's $5.95 a month, guys. You can't even get a Big Mac meal for $5.95. You know what I'm saying? And that'll give you diabetes. <laughs> oh, no, McDonald's is coming after me. It's the Info War. We're back with this news blitz and your calls. PrisonPlanet.tv, InfoWars.com.